Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I thought I would just do a little day in the life because we um, quickly ended our weekend vlog. Um, so yesterday we took Milano to a and &E and it is confirmed that he 100% has an allergy. They're thinking that he never actually got over his milk allergy that he had whenever he was a baby. Um, so yeah, we've eliminated all dairy from his diet. Still haven't given him power because he did get a rash from that. Um, and we are going to the dermatologist tomorrow um, because they want him to just go there um, for a observation. And then tomorrow as well, we have a phone call consultation with the allergist who will then email me a slip that then I can bring into the hospital so then I can take it to the blood room so then he can be tested. Whew. So that is where we're at. So I just thought I'd do a little day in the life of the Oso life at home with two under two. Today is Tuesday, it is my birthday on Friday. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna just do it today or if I'm gonna do it um, tomorrow as well. I will probably, no actually I am, I will, fill you in with what happens tomorrow with Milano because I know a lot of you are concerned about him. So yeah, this is just a little day in the life. Baby brother is napping. He's due to wake up in like anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Um, he will wake up and yeah, we're just gonna dot about the house. I'm gonna clean down from breakfast now. Milano's coming with a plant. You going to the garden center? I always say he goes to the garden centre and he plays with these two plants and they go on the trolley and they go everywhere. It's just as well they're not real. We do need to get a pot for this one. Um, but the one that I want out of Ikea hasn't been in stock for like forever and a day. Oh, where did it go? Are you doing a nice plant arrangement? Oh, you're very good. That's nice. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see his face, only a little bit. It has calmed down lots compared to what it was. Show us your face, see? So he's got much better. And you're in a good mood, aren't you? You in a good mood? What have we been practicing today? Buzz. What do bees do? Buzz. You gone shopping for nappies and a plant. I didn't know this old nappies at the garden centre. Wicky wicky. Say wicky wicky baby brother. Stretches. <laughs> Did you have a nice nap baby? Yeah. Do you think you had a nice nap? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> you giving them rubs? time now and he's basically just having homemade oven chips and some mm -hmm. ham because we don't know what his allergy is and I don't want to give him tomato because he also broke out in a rash with that so yeah the little one's sleeping and we're just having some more ham and chips but he doesn't seem to mind because you love chippies don't you chippies your fave
guys, that was all a bit wild. You didn't see actually what happened. So what happened was Monica, Milano woke up from an app early crying because he's still not 100%. So that was fine. Then it was time to get Monaco up from his nap. He woke up fine. Then we were all just chilling, watching Frozen. Next minute the doorbell goes. The Maison de Monde stuff has arrived, which is very exciting. But Monaco had just done a poo. Milano had stopped crying, so that was fine. Um, Monica was also like, I'm kind of hungry now, mom. Like, can I have um, some baby, please? And then the three dogs are here. So I had to put the dogs away. I had to go out, open the gate for the guys to come in. And then I came back. I carried Milano. I left Monica in his chair. I came back. I put Milano down. I left at Monaco because he was getting fussy. Then Milano, I, I put the dogs, sorry, no, reverse. I put the dogs into our bedroom because I was like, oh, I haven't got time. So I just threw them into the bedroom before I opened the gate. Then whenever we got back in, Milano thought it would be funny to open the bedroom door, outrun the dogs. Great. Please bear in mind, I am now holding Monaco. One dog runs into Milano's room, the other dog runs into Monaco's room, and the other dog doesn't really know if they should run into our room or what one of the boys' rooms. Like, it was just wild. So then I was like, dogs, try and get them in. The door was open, it had Milano, it had Monaco. Finally got the dogs in, and then it went swimmingly well thereafter. But yeah, the stuff has arrived, and it is very exciting. Haven't opened them because it needs built and stuff, but maybe I'll have a little nose. This is the one that I'm most excited about. Oh, I want also Mr. Murray to come home from work now. Should I FaceTime him? No, he's very busy. I'll not be an annoying wife. Oh, look at that, Milano. Do you like it? Oh, so soft. Oh, nice. Do we like it? Yeah, we do. It's pink. Of course we like it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day. Um, we finished off yesterday just putting the boys to bed, doing all that. Well, doing all that kind of thing. And the office furniture arrived. So do we want to have a look? I know you've seen it like arriving, but do you want to see it built and stuff? Are we ready? Here it is. So we've got this. Like I said, we're eventually changing the wallpaper because it just doesn't quite go, which is fine. But yeah, we have this table, which is kind of like the color of the peacock's tails. And then we have the cherry blossom units, which I just love. I want to get like a duke rug for the floor here to kind of tie in this. And then over here, we have this little sofa bed and two pictures, ring light and tripod. Just now they have a home, which is handy. And we're gonna change this door to a barn door like this one with same kind of handles and get a barn door rail. So I think that'll look really nice. And we're also gonna get a curtain pole and some nice curtains. I don't think this is gonna be living here because it just doesn't match. But Milano's come in for some shopping. Ola, he's closing us in. In we go, so yeah. This is the office furniture. I hope you love it. I really love it. I just, I've been looking at this unit online. I said last night, it's literally been one year and then it went out of stock and it was out of stock for six months. And they were like, oh, we're not sure if we're getting it back in. You'll have to wait till 2021. And I went on one day and it came back in stock and Anir had an absolute heart attack and ordered it straight away. Had to wait six weeks for it, but you are worth the wait that full year of waiting. I just love it. It's just, oh, it's just so pretty. So yeah, we are going to the hospital today. I'm going to get Milano ready in a minute. I'm going to fix my hair and I'm going to wake up baby brother. Um, hopefully we get somewhere with the allergy appointment, but we have a friend who works in a healthcare, a private healthcare clinic, and she's managed to get us an appointment with a different private hospital for testing tomorrow. So if his private hospital doesn't give him tests today, 
then I know we can go there tomorrow and then we just bring the information back to his paediatrician. So I feel much more calm. I feel so relieved and it was just so nice of her to do that for us. So yeah, that is where we're at. That is where we're standing. Of course, I will fill you in with what's happening once we, once we find out. Well, today, I'll fill you in today with how the appointments went. Basically. Hello everyone, so update on Milano. He is not allergic to anything, so he won't need any EpiPens, which is just like a weight lifted off our shoulders. But he does have an intolerance to milk and lactose. Um, so yeah, so it's not just that he can't have lactose, because you know how you can get like lactose-free things. Um, he can't have milk, like full stop. And also they think he may have an intolerance to egg and that's why he's not eating them. Um, but we're not sure, it's just a bit of trial and error. So yeah, that is where we're at. At least he's happy, he has to have antihistamines and he has to have a probiotic because they said his belly's gonna be really sore. So yeah, that is the journey that we are now on. We really did think that he had grown out of his um, milk allergies, but evidently he hasn't, so yeah. That's where we're at. I'm just glad that he's not fully allergic and he doesn't need EpiPen. They said it's very unlikely to be allergic to milk anyways. Um, it is normally intolerances. So weight lifted off her shoulders. He's not allergic to nuts, anything, shellfish, nothing. He got all the tests. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this little allergy diary now. And thanks so much for, so much for watching. Um, it's now my birthday today as I'm filming this. So our next vlog is going to be a birthday vlog. So be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you do not miss the epic Oso oh birthday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.